Hey there Bulldog Country, this week we're talking with Elizabeth Kyes, a junior on the UMD women's track team. For UMD, take another look at it. Sarah Kelly put it home, a freshman. He's a big young boy. Here's a chance in front. They score! Torrick flipped it in there. Ida Follow went to the net. They combined to get Hi, I'm Elizabeth Kyes. I'm a junior and captain on the women's tr track team, and I'm from Kanat, Wisconsin. To start things off, the outdoor track season is beginning to wind down. What has been going well for the team and for you individually? Um, coming from a strong indoor season, we had a lot of good PRs and good conference placing. And now as we get closer to conference, we've had even more PRs, especially from the freshman class. They've been really strong asset to our team. And uh, for me individually, I've tried more uh, new events that are longer distance. So that's been fun and figuring out how to do it and getting better at them. And what are all of the different events that you participate in? Um, starting from freshman year to now, I've tried everything from the 200 to the 3K and steeplechase. Um, but right now this season, I've been focusing on the 1500 and steeplechase. And what would you say your signature event is? I would say the 1500, just coming from, I just started it last year and coming from that, um, I'm looking forward to competing in at conference. And what does a typical week look like for the track team in terms of training and preparing for meets? Uh, we put a lot of hours into the work, uh, into the week. We have lifting in the mornings and then we have practice every day in the afternoon. Sometimes the distance team doubles, does a quick run in the morning or cross training. But we have a couple workouts a week and then we just have normal runs. And then Sunday we have our long runs that can range from 9 to 12 miles. <laughs> and you compete on both the cross country and the track team here at UMD, which means you keep pretty busy for most of the year. How do you successfully balance academics and athletics? Uh, yeah, it gets to be a long season and you're tired a lot of the time, but uh, coffee helps. And you just gotta make it fun, like get together with your friends and go to coffee shops, study. You just have to, get, have, to get, have good time management and we have really long bus rides a lot of the time, so those are good homework time. And in high school, you had a pretty impressive track career, qualifying for state in a few events and even becoming a state champion in a few events. How would you say you've grown as an athlete since being in college? Uh, I can definitely say I've become stronger as a leader and a competitor where high school was just kind of fun and now I'm going up in distance and becoming stronger and I've learned so much from my teammates and there's been way more competition in college and I really like that to be more pushed in all my events and to learn new events is really cool like steeplechase. And looking at the rest of the outdoor season, what expectations does the team have and what expe expectations do you have personally? Uh, with the conference meet coming up um, and we're hosting it, so we wanted to do really well with that. Um, I'd like to place in the conference meet in one of my events or a couple and I know all my teammates are thinking the same thing and we're looking for big PRs and good placing. And then lastly, this weekend UMD is hosting the Bulldog Open track meet. How nice is it being able to host a meet and what are you looking forward to? Uh, it's nice to host a meet because traveling can be really tired on the body. Um, I'm looking forward to having a lot of home fans here and people being able to see what our team can do. And even though the conditions um, are supposed to be pretty cold, I know that we'll have some good performances and we're used to training in this weather. So I know we can do some great things this weekend.